Yo people, welcome back to my channel. It's Tapping Tobes here, back with another YouTube upload. Listen, we packed and potioned these guys. This is the name of the video, packed and potioned. You remember a couple months back, St. James's Park, we lost the game, 6-1. We were four or five, four nil down in around seven minutes, five nil down in around 17 minutes. Miserable, miserable day. Fast forward to December, we play the same team again, albeit with some players missing, but we've got some players missing as well, albeit with some European competition of theirs that we don't have. But it's still a Premier League game of football. They have recently beaten Chelsea at home. They've also beaten Man United, right? They went to PSG. They probably should have lost, but they, they pushed PSG. And they came to our ground and they got packed and potioned. I counted 23, 24 attempts at their goal today, around 12 on target, seven big chances created. This is the result that we have been we have been on the cusp of having over the past couple of weeks. There's been so much noise on the manager. There's been so much noise on the team and it's expected. Four losses in five will do that to you, right? Prior to today, four losses in five will do that to you. But the one thing I maintain is you can clearly see in the majority of these games, Spurs are still playing well. Spurs are still creating chances. Spurs are still putting their foot in the positions there. What was letting us down? Our finishing and the lack of energy in the second half, right? Now, today, I'm starting off with Son, Captain Fantastic. Today, he led by example. Left wing, Ange Postacoglu put Richarlison through the middle, trusted Richie. Richarlison delivered with two goals. Son, captain, two assists, two brilliant assists. Had the beat in a trippier. That's his former colleague, and he made mincemeat of him. Son hasn't played out on the left in weeks, in months even. And he said, you know what? I'm going to do a job for the team. Son spoke before the game. He said, what did he say? He said, he said, oh, um, we have to bounce back. We have to bounce back. He said that we need to do, we need to deliver. We are too soft against West Ham. He spoke with confidence. He said, we're going to rectify. And he rectified today. And he got his deserved goal in the end. Of course, it's a penalty, but we'll take it. Double figures for the season now. 10 Premier League goals, two assists today. Captain, fantastic. He was brilliant today. Absolutely brilliant. Charleston, I gave him a lot of criticism midweek, and rightly so. I still think we should do our best to try and sell this guy in January. However, today, I'm going to give you credit. You worked hard. You took both your goals well. And thank God you have finally scored with your feet. This guy had not scored with his feet in like 18 months of football for Spurs until today. He scored two goals with his left foot and played a good part in our win. I'm going to speak on destiny. I've been telling people for youngs, this kid is next up. I'm gutted that he did not pick Nigeria. I'm gutted. I wish he would have picked Nigeria over Italy, but that's a story for another day. This kid, when it comes to Premier League football, he has been the best left back performance wise in the league this season. He's been brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Today, defensively, offensively, superb. And I'm so happy he got his deserved goal. He barely puts a foot wrong. He's so composed. He's aggressive on the press. And defensively, you're not getting any change out of him. Superb. And I want to shout out another midfielder. And I've been talking his praises all season. Pape Matosso. The difference that this guy makes to our team is incredible. It is night and day. You saw what happened when Hoybier came on the pitch. We can see the goal. Sloppy pass. When Saar's on the pitch, the counter press is superb. Defensive transitions, he's there. Offensively, he gets the ball composed. He initiates attacks. He wins duels. This is what you call an all-action, combative central midfielder. And Saar is the reason why when Benton Cole returns, our right... Coys, come on you Spurs. Our right-sided midfield is locked up. I don't care what anyone tells me. And even Kulisewski, you can chuck him into the mix. There's three solid options that we can play out on the right. But Papi Matasar, big up to you, man. This is his first start since Wolves. His first start since Wolves, yeah? His first start since Wolves. And you saw the impact he made to our team, right? Don't ever doubt or underestimate the impact that Papi Matasar has to the team. The impact that he has on Basuma's performance. The impact he has on how we can defend as a unit. He has been superb for Tottenham. Ben Davies, superb. Listen, Newcastle, they had their chances today. They had some chances. I'm not going to pretend as if they didn't have a threat in transition. They had their moments. 
they did, but that was a comprehensive beatdown. And the one thing we have been wanting for this team is to try and get that second goal after you've taken the lead. We took the lead early today again. Then we got the second goal just before half time. That's what we've been wanting. It gives us a better platform to play in the second half because invariably in the second half, rather than defending a 1-0 lead and trying to consolidate, yeah, you're now defending a 2-0 lead. So that when the opposition are down 2-0, it means they're going to throw more bodies forward. When they were throwing more bodies forward, there was way more space for us to play in the second half. And as I said, we hit them for four today, but we really should have hit them for eight or nine. Really, we should have done even worse than what they did to us at, at their ground because we created way more chances today than they did at St. James Park. Uh, there were so many openings, so many opportunities, even unlucky for Skip as well. Good save from Dubravka. We had so many chances, as I said, so many opportunities. And that's not even counting the moments where we were on the break, 3v2 or 2v1 and the final ball was missing. And we still panned these guys for, and hit them for four today. I'm proud of this team. I'm proud of the manager as well. Ange Postacoglu, you deserve this result. You deserve this performance. He deserved more goals today, but listen, we won, we'll take the three points and we have to move, we have to build. We had to win today. We had to win today and we have won. The three losses at home is a thing of the past. Now we're starting afresh. One win now since the three losses. We'll take that. We move on. Nottingham Forest next Friday. You have to go and kick a dog when it's down, honestly. Beat them. Go to their ground and beat them and continue the momentum. Let's finish this year on a high. So when the likes of Madison gets back into the team, when the likes of Bentoncourt gets back into the team in the new year, we are in a good position to push for top four because this team, the way we're playing, top four is possible and top four should be a genuine, realistic possibility for this team. I'm backing this team to get it. And I think performances like today shows why we're more than capable of getting it as well. But people, let me know your thoughts. Who haven't I spoken about? What did you think of Brennan Johnson? What did you think of Kulisevsky? What did you think of Son? Even Romero, Romero, before I end. Romero is, <laughs> Romero, I don't know what's wrong with Romero. Like he actually had a good game today, but he's just so crazy. And we need him to cut these crazy tackles out of his game. We do. We really do. Because on another day, that challenge towards the end, that cost Spurs. You could be sent off. It's the same shit that happened against Chelsea. We can't have that. We can't have that. You're too good to be throwing yourself in stupid positions like that and potentially putting the team at risk. Because if he had got sent off today, that would have been four matches he'd be banned for with no Van de Ven. As a vice captain, he needs to be switched on. You need to think, think about your actions because they will always have consequences. But anyway, that's me. Fantastic day out, fantastic Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed it, Spurs fans. If you aren't a Spurs fan, let me know your thoughts anyway on our performance. Let me know your thoughts on the manager. Let me know your thoughts on the players. Let me know your thoughts on how Newcastle fared as well, right? But until then, people, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you turn your post notifications on and up the Spurs. So it's going to start recording. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate this. I'll put this towards the end of my video, honestly. Thank you. Tap in toes. Thank you so much. Appreciate the help. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You're gents, true gents.